U.S. Pro Card Series came out over this past week, said they're going to be changing their race format up. The first two weekends of this year, they had moved qualifying into Friday and eight into the practice sessions for the day. It meant instead of getting five practice sessions, you went down to three. And that way they could qualify everyone and they would have enough time to run as many as four of the seven classes having a second pre-final to split the field in half for the pre-finals and have a last chance qualifier. After two events in, the third and the fourth classes that would just barely get over the cap of 40 or 44 entries really wasn't dictating the, the amount of track time everybody would lose by losing two practice sessions on Friday. The K100 Junior and the K100 Senior classes were healthily over the 40-plus number after the initial round one, which the first round of a championship is almost always the biggest. Um, was still really big at GoPro. It's still probably going to be really big at Newcastle. will be still big at Road America. I can see both of them with the, the Midwest and the Upper Midwest having big 100cc turnouts, especially in Wisconsin between Badger and Road America themselves, having 50-plus in each class or 60-plus in the case for K Senior at GoPro. So those two classes are still going to have last-chance qualifiers on Saturday and Sunday, but now the qualifying sessions will be back moved on to their respective race days. And where we'll kind of get into it and where Chris and Brandon especially, because they've been working on the team side and the tuning and the coaching side, can really talk about it. Um, and Ryan, obviously, is heavily involved in the coaching for RPG. This makes the logistics of Friday a whole lot less stressful, a lot less fast-paced, and you can go back to kind of working on tuning on the go-kart. Because what would happen is we already had it, and we've kind of adjusted into this format over the last few seasons of the turnouts getting bigger, of using the last single practice session on Friday afternoon – as the session that determines which qualifying group you go into. You can still qualify on the pole if you end up slow in that final practice, but it's typically tougher because more times than not, the track goes a little bit faster. You're obviously, in theory, around solely slower drivers from that session. So very rarely does the pole ever come out of the slow group. So guys were already putting on a new set of tires with the original format they ran for the first two rounds on practice number three. They would dismount tires, put on a new set, for Sunday qualifying, then if you were in a class like X30 Senior or, or X30 Pro and like X30 Master, you'd run a new set then on Sunday. And I think they, they moved also to new sets for the KA classes as well. So then you would di you'd already be one, one set dismounted mounted from practice two to practice three. You would do it again. The second time you're mounting tires is after that final practice set your quality groups for Sunday qualifying. You dismount mount again from Sunday qualifying to Saturday qualifying, which is the fifth and final session of the day. So now you're on your third set of mounting, and then you would dismount those again, or at least if you had multiple sets of wheels, you take those wheels off because you don't have to run your Saturday or Sunday qualifying and race tires in the warm-up session. You would normally probably go back to the set of tires that only had one session on them, so they were still relatively fresh for the warm-ups, which was practice number three. So you had four rounds of mounting and dismounting tires, and you cut out two practice sessions um, in a format that ultimately, like what they saw in the first two rounds, barely had uh, more than just the 2K classes heavily over the cap. So they decided they're going to move back to that. That's going to make things logistically a lot better. Everybody as a whole is going to get two more sessions on Friday. It is going to make both race days still a little bit longer because they have roughly, it's 30 minutes when you factor in what's probably a 15-minute pre-final and a 10-minute LCQ and some gap time in between. So 30 minutes, say, when a class goes over the cap and they have to split into two heats and run an LCQ. That's an hour boosted onto the day compared to their format from last year with two classes going to that cap. So when we go to Road America, when we go to the finale in Newcastle, more than likely you're going to have to book a flight probably Monday morning. You probably won't be able to fly out Sunday, but at least now you're getting more track time, which goes back on a lot of different conundrums of whether or not are we paying to race the best? Are we paying for a certain format? Or are we paying to try and get as many laps as possible from sunup to sundown? So I want to pass it off to everybody else. Well, Brandon, you you out of all of us here have the most team mindset when it comes to the US PKS format this year with how big the Mike Doty racing tent's been and you being solely out of the seat and coaching. So you, can you kind of walk us through again to reiterate on that format change and what it's going to do on the back end and how you feel about it going to where it's going this, you know, now with caps on everything but KA? Yeah, I think it would be much better um, <clears throat> doing qualifying on friday was definitely a little bit of a pain because like you said you had to mount and dismount multiple sets of tires i didn't have to do any of that because i was doing all coaching so that was nice yeah pretty much everyone was always begging for another set of wheels which as everyone knows everything's really hard to get right now so it's hard to to do that but um from like a coaching standpoint i think it's going to help a lot because it's going to give more track time to the drivers especially going to like road america where we don't get to go all the time i personally like the least amount of practice but i think it's better for overall for everyone to get more practice but um yeah it's going to make for long days on saturday and sunday is what it is i think it'll be a good change 
in an ideal world, we, we talk about, you know, where we're at with the sport where you've got just as many probably guys that maybe shouldn't be there at the national scene as we've got guys that should be there. So we end up back and forth of whether or not we should have practice bands or not, or how many sessions we should have. And it goes back to on the format of like a, a single main event versus double main events. You know, you talk to me, you know, and this is going to probably annoy some of our viewers, maybe, maybe make some guys upset, but like, you know, the only really reason we have the double main event is not for points because you can balance that out with points on heats. It's just for everybody's feelings when you have a bad Saturday and you, you know, can't recover, you know, you, then you're weak, you feel like your weekend's blown, you play recovery Sunday. But, but I mean, these race, these race weekends are major, major buildups, right? I mean, everyone, you know, there's only a handful that everyone still really cares about. And, and, and we go and we test the week before we test all week where they're all week building go karts, you know. Teams are all loading out Mondays now. Very rarely are guys able, without pack the paddocks are, to get out Sunday night. You just tear it down and you drive the rig out Sunday. So we're doing this whole buildup, right, to you know the to the end of the weekend, and the guys that normally win or perform on Saturday get forgotten about because everyone just kind of remembers how everything ends on Sunday. So it's like we're already kind of there. The only benefit is you personally, if you personally have a bad Saturday and then you get to have a good Sunday, then oh great, you know. But if we're, it, you know, I think it's a uh, from an entertainment and where we're at right now with me being solely a media guy, not racing, not coaching in any of these things. I'd love to see you guys racing instead of a five grand overall, like five grand to the checkered flag, like how we were at IME Grands and Supernats. Like that's a better show. And then from everything else, like the build up to it, it matters a whole lot more. And so you can map balance out the championship points, but there's still enough people that push on the series to want to do the two event format. Obviously, where they've got right now, that's the status quo. That's what Scusa Pro Tour is as well. That's what all of our major events that we go to are used to. So I'm not knocking those guys. I think, you know, USPKS did the smart decision to shoot in the middle, and that's kind of where you have to be. Maybe they are a little bit bigger entry-wise, but it's not like we have one solely dominant championship in the in the country right now. When we ha If we had one majorly above everybody else, and they could kind of lead the ship and do the right things, no matter how many people it might annoy, and they wouldn't have to worry about annoying people, those people jumping to another ship and that ship becoming bigger than them, you know, then you'd be like, come on, make the right decision. You're the only one that can make it. But I think they're shooting the middle on this one. And like Brandon said, at least now we're getting more seat time for the guys that are showing up, you know, and don't feel like they got to test the week before because they're getting nine sessions before they go on track for, well, 10 if you count warm up, 10 sessions before they go on track for Saturday qualifying. So 